Hi everybody, it's Adrian. How are you? Nice to be back. Thanks for joining me for another jewelry bag slash jar slash whatever you want to call it opening. And um, I want to finish a couple of items from the last bag. There were tons of tangles as I think you might remember. Um, but a few things that I found that I didn't share with you guys, I will share now. Um, and I'm actually going to put some jewelry on as I talk to you, including this one. So I thought this was very, very cool. Um, this is really kind of neat and very tribal. So I'm going to wear this today with you all. And so that means someone else is going to be joining us, <laughs> whoever this is, this tribal figure. So I'm going to wear that. I don't think I need an earring, though. Um, I was going to put some earrings on, but you know what? Oh, maybe these. I'm going to put on these earrings for you all. These are clip-ons, and they are um, sterling, and I think artisan made, and they look really nice. Um, and they're turquoise, so you can see that there. I think that's turquoise. Let me just look for a second. It might be Howlite now that I look at it. Um, it's not turquoise, but that's not the point. Um, I'm just going to put these on, and I was happy to find that they were sterling. They were from a bag I opened a few weeks ago. Anyway, that's that. Um, so this is kind of neat. It's like a glass um, material. Then we got this really cool, I haven't tested this yet. I think it's going to be sterling vintage. Looks like some cords. It looks like some, um, it could be jade, but I don't think it is. I think it's a venturine. And I believe this is sterling. That's really cool. It's kind of on the longer side. And it's an infinity chain with no clasp. Yes, my nails are still decorated for Christmas. And that is because nothing's open in California again. So I have to wait. No problem. Okay, this is, this almost feels like glass beads. Um maybe even coral I don't know but um, probably glass it's got some pink through it they are cold um, it's a vintage necklace on the longer side very well done no name on that um, a pretty pendant I love these they're mother of pearl just needs a piece of um, like leather or fabric to hold on to that um, then we have this tassel necklace. I can't remember the maker on here, so I'm going to need to cross check. Um, Ann Taylor. This is a pretty little piece. I sell a lot of this stuff. I always thought like I would maybe have more interest in the vintage pieces, but in reality, my Poshmark sales have skyrocketed. And I do sell a lot of the more modern pieces. That's really pretty. And so there's that. Um, I got a few um, random earrings, which I always put on the side in case I find the other. This needs to be tested. That's really pretty. It's a um, clip. Uh, no, I thought it was a clip-on. No, no, no. It's um, more modern. So that's pretty. I think that might be sterling. Um, this is really pretty. I could not find... The match to that abalone shell. That might make a nice pendant. And we've got this one, which is a clip-on coro. And that's pretty. And I think that's it. Oh, and then um, I think I showed you guys the rest of these. Oh, I didn't show you this one. This is a Haskell. I wish the second one was in here. Glass bead, clip-on, um, sorry, screw back, Miriam Haskell earring. 
um, and I don't have the mate to that, which is a shame. And then this piece is sterling. I think this is a tie tack. I'm not sure what this piece is though. I don't know what you do with that. But anyway, it's silver and I'll probably put it in my scrap. So there's that. Now, because the Virginia bag was so exciting the last time, I got another bag from Virginia and I'm going to open it with you guys. I will warn you now that it is very, very large. I'm going to hold it up. I bid and won at $18. And that sounds amazing to all of you who do this, um, and it is, except um, shipping is so expensive that it costs just as much to ship. Um, so it was basically 40 bucks. So we'll see what happens. I, I'm not going to be heartbroken if nothing's in here. Um, all right, so first up is this bracelet. It's almost like a rose gold with rondelles and it's cute if you like rose gold and it's okay it's in decent condition there we've got a strand of mardi gras beads which i never get too excited about it seemed like there were a lot of earrings in here and wild earrings like cray cray so i'll just you know show them all to you as i take them out but um, I'm hoping they're paired up some of these are really crazy so we'll just we'll just have to see um, I see that a lot of them are in here on their own hopefully they're they're paired eventually um, oh that's cute I love cloisonne this little guy is hanging on for dear life and there's a little cloisonne moon that's sweet now, who doesn't need fluorescent orange hoops like these? I mean, come on. There's that. I mean, you guys, seriously wild earrings in here. Wild. Okay? I mean, this, the size on some of these are, like, ridiculous. I guess, you know, when I see stuff like this and it's, like, so many things are similar... It makes me feel like maybe a, you know, costume jewelry company made a donation of some of their products um, because it seems highly unlikely that all of this would wind up in this bag unless there was someone who loved jewelry and this is just their style. So they just have a bunch of these crazy earrings. Crazy fun, by the way. I mean... You know, they're they're kind of neat. This is a brass. I mean, huge, 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 huge. Um, so maybe someone made a donation, and this is their taste. You know, um, because there's so many of them, and they're all so crazy. Like very. I mean, I guess this is '80s, right? I'm an '80s kid for sure. I wore many a big earring in my day. And I wore big hair and tall boots in royal blue kind of colors and red and all of that. That's kind of neat. These are very light. A lot of these are huge, but they're super light. So um, they're, they're definitely wearable. They're not going to, you know, this almost feels like paper to me. So... You know, if you like big earrings, you might want to check out my Poshmark in a week. Because there they'll be. Sales have been good. I've been really very excited. And I was made a Poshmark ambassador. Which was a huge surprise. Uh, because I haven't been selling for that long. But, yeah. Don't know what this is. This must be to something. I think it's broken. So, um... Yeah, so that means, you know, I have 10,000 subscribers now. I've, you know, got a certain amount of shares. And um, and so they made me an ambassador. And I don't know what that's going to mean for the day-to-day. -day, but I feel like things are busy. So 
that's a good thing. Thank you, Poshmark. And I keep all of my vintage stuff on Etsy. So, you know, I, I think it's, um, it's a good system I have because I, I know where everything is. Um, and I once in a while I'll put something vintage on my posh, but not a lot because I feel like if you're looking for vintage pieces, you're much more likely to go on to Etsy. But if I see something that, you know, is vintage but could be contemporary or perceived as contemporary, sometimes I put it on. Here's a stretch in blues and turquoise. And those are plastic beads. This is a cute earring. Look at this little guy. This guy needs to go to Hawaii. I don't know if I told you guys I was supposed to go to Hawaii for my 50th. And we couldn't because of COVID. So my husband took me. I don't know what that is. Um, my husband took me on a road trip in California, which was really fun. That's broken. Um, which was really fun. But I do want to get to Hawaii at some point. Love this one. I love anything animal print, pretty much. That's cool. So, yeah. So hopefully we'll get back at some point. I love this one too. It's like a pink and orange almost with that gold piece at the end. I mean, again, just a lot of scale on some of these. This is one of those knit thread ones. I think that's ripped though. Um, yeah, so at some point, um, this is not Chanel, by the way, <laughs> um, but someone I'm sure would enjoy this. I cannot sell this on any of my sites, though, because you can get in a lot of trouble. Even if you mention a brand um, like Chanel and it's not Chanel, Poshmark will send you a note, and they are like, you are improperly representing a product so yeah i mean wait till i wait till i show you some of these that just popped out of here okay another one with like a rainbow thread i'm putting them next to me only so you can see like the size and scale of these and look at these pinwheels oh my gosh i think my husband would get dizzy if i wore these at dinner um, this is missing the thing there, the hook. Okay, these are all different earrings like this. Wow, okay, so I don't know how we're going to figure all that out, but um, I guess I'll list some of these. I don't know if I'm going to list all of these, but there's some of them are definitely fun, right? Turquoise one got a pink one here's the other black and silver woven I really like that that one um, okay that might be it for a little bit there's a yellow one these were all at the top oh this is awesome I mean light as a feather guys look at that awesome earring I love that um, okay, and green, oh my goodness, holy cow, all right, I'm trying to get through these earrings, guys, so we can go on to the next, that's cool, that looks very Alexis Vitar, it is not, but that looks very like that, um, acrylic kind of lucite material, pretty. I love Alexis, as I've said here. Um, oh my goodness. Okay. These are all earrings, guys. I mean, don't you think, like, someone must have made a donation? I think an earring company. Okay. We're almost out of here. We're almost out of the earring area. Oh, that's awesome, too. I love that. Love that one. Here's the pair. Look at that. Coolness. Um, okay, let's try and reach for some other things. Here we have a shell bracelet in my favorite color, purple. It's pretty. I have a lot of those, actually. 
Um, this looks like a vintage piece and let's see if it has any maker's mark on it. They're wood beads and I don't see anything. And let's show that to you guys. That looks pretty worn to me. I'm going to put that in the craft lot. My craft lot gets bigger by the day, I tell ya. Okay, this is a seed bead necklace and another earring holding on to it. One of these earrings. Um, this is pretty. It's seed beads. It looks like some um, interesting cloisonne beads. Um, definitely a vintage clasp, right? And then these very pretty cloisonne beads with gold tone. It's on the shorter side. Nice. This is a bracelet. It's woven and adjustable in gold and silver tones. There's that. Oh my goodness, I love this earring. I can't take it. I love this earring so much. <gasps> That's so fun. Okay. It's really crazy. I think this was called like a colorful lot. Yeah, it's colorful <laughs> in more ways than one, right? Another pinwheel. A lot of matches now to the ones I found earlier. Um, okay. So a caught. Okay, here's a stretch. Um, very 80s, right? With the pink and black plastic beads. I don't think we're going to find any vintage in here. I think there's a lot of like crazy 80s stuff. Or if we do, just not a lot of it. Okay, here's a wood, another wood necklace. The tags are on this one. It says Encore, made in the Philippines. And here are the wood beads. So those are cool. A lot of wood beads in here. And this is on a stretch, which is kind of weird for necklace. Um, I just put something like this up on my Poshmark the other day, but mine was a little more sparkly. Here's um, a black and silver beaded necklace. It's a little rusted. I'm going to put that in the lot of craft. Guys, I can't even tell you how many earrings are here. I, I mean, you don't even know what's happening. Okay? Here we go. Tons, like tons of 80s earrings. Okay. I'm glad I didn't spend a lot on this lot because I would definitely have been disappointed if this was like one of those $100 things. Because these are all kind of, they're totally fun, um, but they're, you know, they're very plasticky and, you know, I don't think I'm going to make any money on this lot is what I'm saying. Um, wow. Okay. These are earrings. Uh, who, who wears these? These are huge, huge. And they're all kind of very similar. So I'm not going to spend too much time going through this. Um, unless there's some unique ones. That's kind of unique. Very modernist, right? That's a nice one. And there. And we've got the match to this one. I think we found that already. Um, this is plastic bead stretch. And more of the same. That one's broken. All right. All right, something different. This is cool. This is a vintage bracelet and it's like a black and brass leaf 
motif. Um, let's see if there's a maker's mark. I don't see one, but I may have to go in with a loop. Okay, nice to find something besides an earring though. Okay, that's pretty. Pretty vintage piece. More earrings. Oh my goodness. More earrings. By the way, this is from Virginia, which is where I got that insane lot of all the vintage Monet. Here's something a little smaller, more unique. Um, so I kind of thought, okay, let me order from them again because it was such an incredible lot with so many beautiful, but also, um, pieces that are worth money. They're collector's pieces, really. So, yeah, this is not a similar lot. There's the match to that guy. Um, this is kind of similar to the first one I took out. It's like a mesh metallic bracelet. All right, I'm going to try and get somewhere here. Outside of the earrings. I'm going to go to the bottom. Okay, let's see. I need some kind of goodies. Okay, here's a necklace and set of earrings. I do not see a maker's mark on this. Is this wood? This looks like, this looks like wood. And no, it's not. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's wood. All right, let's see. With gold links and then the earrings are hooked on right there. So that's great, okay. And we've got a seed bead necklace in yellow. Very thick braided seed bead. Going to the bottom, guys. I gotta get out of this earring rut I'm in here. What else can we find? But more earrings. Ooh, this looks very Missoni. I love this. I mean, this is fabric. It's, but it looks totally Missoni. If you like that designer, I hope I find the other one to that. That's for sure. Alrighty. Here we have a little shell necklace. Um, hold on, I'm tangled. Please hold. Got to untangle some things. This is because I went right to the bottom, guys. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay. Um, okay. Wait a minute. Okay, here's a shell necklace. And it's got... Let's see. Nothing on it. It's got some wood beads. This is long. Reminds me of something I would get on vacation in a Caribbean island, you know, when they bring in the local artisans and set up tables. Um, and you can go buy stuff from folks who live on those islands, who make beautiful things. This is not turquoise. It's not cold at all. They're turquoise beads. Oh my goodness. Guys, this is crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that's an earring. Oh, wait, hold on. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's an earring. That's how big it is. Okay. More earrings. They're all very tinny. Okay, I just got an itch on my nose. Um, this is marked $14. It is a brooch 
and that's what it looks like. Yes, that is a feather brooch. Okay, brand new. Um, this is a Taga bracelet. Where is my, I'm so lost in all these earrings. I don't know where my magnet is. I haven't needed it till right this second. Because nothing seems sterling to me, that's for sure. Um, yeah, this is not going to be sterling. Um, this is a pretty little toggle bracelet in silver tone. Okay. Another stretch. And what's attached to it? Is this an earring too? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be an earring? Because why wouldn't you have an earring that's that long, right? I mean, everyone has earrings that long. And this has elephants on the bottom. See? <laughs> Look. Oh my goodness. Okay, another. I keep saying oh my goodness because I'm so blown away. Okay, another earring. Hoops. Love a hoop. Love a hoop. More, more, more. More, more, more. How do you like it? Did you hear the Sex in the City is coming back on HBO without Kim Cattrall? But that's exciting. Um, not sure what this is. A necklace, a collar. I don't even know how to open it. Okay, weird. Weird. Don't know what this is. A muzzle? <laughs> Um, no idea. Very interesting. Okay, something's coming out of here that's kind of cool. I don't want to tug at it. Let's wait. Let's wait patiently. More wood beads. Those look vintage to me. And it's on an infinity strand. We've got more wood beads. I feel like someone had a lot of stuff from the 80s and made a donation. It's a lot of 80s stuff in here. Wood beads. That was a big thing back then. Oh, this is pretty. Um, I like the iridescence. Ugh, if I can find this up right. Um, I like the iridescence of some of those beads. It's like on the wood, almost, like a slice of the abalone shell. That has to be straightened out, but that's cute. And more plastic stretch. Okay, here we have some glass beads. I love glass beads. And you know what I found the other day, which is, I, I think, pretty rare. I found some ceramic beads, which were awesome. Okay, so these are very pretty, and there we go. They're like black and brown. Those are nice. Okay, what is this guy? So, yes, yeah, so I'll definitely be tuning in to Sex and the City. I loved that show. I was totally and completely obsessed. Then the movies came out, and I was like, all right, they're good. Like, I'll go see them, but... They weren't amazing. All right, this has a maker's mark on it. And it looks like T TC or FC. I think TC. Um, can you guys see that? I don't know what that is. Um, I'm going to have to look that up. So, interesting piece, costume, obviously, like a coral tone, that's pretty. More wood beads. I remember when those were popular. My mom kept them in a basket. More earrings. Um, my mom kept them in a big basket. I used to love borrowing jewelry from my mom. Oh my gosh. 
She had such good clothes and jewelry. She still does. And as soon as I can get back home to New Jersey. Oops. Ah. It spilled out. Um, as soon as I can get home to New Jersey, I am definitely going through it. Um, okay. So this looks like... This looks like an artisan piece or homemade piece here. Um, interesting. It's on a wire and they're very interesting beads. I might put that in a bead lot because it's it's not quite made correctly. The wire's twisted and the beads are gorgeous, but it's not sitting right. Okay. Um, what fell out here? Earrings. More earrings. More earrings. The match to that one. And what is this? Broken necklace. So, crap lot. I had a plan that I was going to put a box underneath my seat for the craft lot, and I did not do it. So here I am again with stuff all over my table, which my husband reminded me the other day pretty much ruined my pretty white pottery barn table. Um, I have found these before. This is like ceramic beads. Um, that's a cute little stretch, isn't it? Pretty little guy. Um, another necklace. I don't know. That's broken. Broken. Crap lot. Too bad. We'll put that in there. Beads can be used. And... I don't know. We don't have a big score, do we? At all. At all. Usually I find something. I find a piece of vintage or a piece of silver or something. But I do not have anything. These are beads. They look like marbles. What we do have is a lot of earrings. <laughs> um, these are, of course, earrings, clip-ons, wild ones. And this is another wild earring. Thank goodness I found this one. I love this one. The Missoni one. Um, trying to dig for gold here. Here is a stretch. All different colored beads with a knot. That's pretty. And another stretch, another stretch, these are with wood, wow, what is this? Um, I hope this has a maker's mark, darn it, it does not. This is a wild piece. This looks like enamel. I'm just looking for the maker's mark. I do not see one, but that piece. This is really heavy too, guys. That's very pretty, very cool. I'm shocked it doesn't have a maker's mark. Um, well made, really neat. Um, beads and orange. This is pretty. That's definitely vintage. Um, Coro. Very pretty bracelet. And we've got the, I'm glad we have the match to this because I like this particular earring. Little 
tangle. The earrings are like having a conversation. They're having a huddle. That's pretty. That's a nice one. I love purple. I love myself some purple. Craft, 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 craft. Um, okay, a ring. How about that? A ring that's adjustable and it is unmarked. It's got like some colored stones, decent condition. I would say it's a size five or so. So there's that. Couldn't believe I found a ring in there. It's exciting. And we've got another purple piece. There's a stretch. All right, this is, this is definitely a natural stone. I feel the coldness of it. Um, maybe carnelian. Some of these are plastic, some of these are natural stones. I feel like this is pink quartz at the bottom. That's a pretty piece. I like the color combo here. It's like orange and pink and yellow. All right, that's a neat piece, I like that. And I love getting natural stones. This is infinity style, no maker's mark. It's on the longer side. Very nice, that's a nice one. We're starting to get scared, guys. I need a couple nice things in here to get me back the 40 that was spent. I wish they would have them in the stores because then I could go in and get it for $19 and like not worry about it. Nice animal print bracelet. Cause I mean, if I spent 19 on this, it's a lot better than spending 40, right? What's this thing? Um, okay. This is long necklace. It's got green enamel pendant on the bottom. That's pretty. Some crystals. I like that. We've got a bracelet, lucite, black and white. I like that too. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Stretch, pink and gold. Here we have Link um, necklace with some beads. These are all acrylic. So, and another necklace. Let's see what this is with an earring holding on. Um. 80s stuff I don't this like something like this it looks kind of antique -y, but it's it's not it's got the regular lobster clasp on there so <laughs> this is funny is this supposed to be this is supposed to be a diamond ring <laughs> that's really cute really cute here is a statement necklace. This is all rusted in the back. So that goes in the craft lot. This is, let's see. This looks like genuine pearl. Wonder if this is sterling. Okay. Let's see some of them. Nice, decent. Random ring, craft lot. Oh, maybe it came from here. Okay, this is definitely going, whoops, in the craft lot. That's like falling apart a little bit on the end there. Um, all right. 
Virginia did a lot better for me last time. This is vintage beads red. Sometimes these are um, really nice. This one's very Mardi Gras. Um, but sometimes, like, a lot of them actually are um, Trafari or Monet. It's a pretty pin, pretty brooch, little fishy guy. That's glass. Nice colors. Um, this is a bracelet. This looks like the ones that people wear to, like, balance them, where they're, like, help with their balance. Um, not sure. Another brooch. No maker's mark. This is a very cute leaf brooch. And another. This is a cute guy. This guy could be a pendant as well as a brooch. Again, no maker's mark, but it's really sweet. It like is indented there, so you can wear it as a pendant and it can kind of, you know, have some depth to it. I like that little fishy. This looks like um, jade, but it's not, it's plastic. Another stretch. Um, what is this? This is very heavy. These have to be glass or ceramic or something. Um, I don't know, but these are very heavy. Interesting beads. It's not tiger's eye or anything. They're beads. I see their color is coming out from here. They look like marbles. I think they're just glass. All right, uh, this is cute. This is a stretch and has all different little animals on it. Very cute. They're all painted on there, little guys. These are glass. That's sweet. Um, this looks like a pendant to me, vintage. Don't know where the chain is. I have plenty of chains though, so that's not an issue. Um, black beads. Let's see if this is sterling findings. Sometimes they are. I found a beautiful necklace with black beads like this, and it had has hearts. Um, I happen to love hearts, so I'm gonna keep it. Oops. But um it looks like onyx and it's got silver findings. Um, it's very, it looks metal, but it's kind of plastic. This looks similar to the bracelet I showed you guys before. And Here's another bracelet, although I think some of these were used to like puff up your sleeves um, and keep your sleeves up. Here's a hoop. Oh, what's this? Interesting bangle. I would have liked this, but it's kind of, it's a little, I don't know, is it in, some of it's missing. like. That's banged up. Banged up! Here's a wooden apple. More earrings. More earrings. Okay, these are vintage. These are Trafari, I think. These are Trafari. These are wood clip-ons in red. Here's the other earring I showed you earlier. We've got this little necklace with some shells. 
and that's on like a suede cord. It's very worn down. That's going into the lot, craft lot. Um, here's a little necklace. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Looks like a bottle of medicine to me, personally. Um, hmm. Okay, these are vintage. This is pretty and broken. These beads are pretty though. Put it in the bean bot. And another pair of vintage earrings. These look like they were painted on. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Looks like they were hand painted. Um, I guess they were worn down. Maybe someone tried to revive them. Plastic beads. Those are going in the bead bot as well. There's a stretch that's losing its stretch. Um... Here we've got a brooch. I don't know if that's silver or silver tone. Silver tone. We've got a cuff link. Give these to my hubby. They say swank. I think there's a lot of those out there, the swank cuff links. It's a nice one though. I like that. And we've got another kind of link, circular link necklace, similar to the one I pulled out earlier. And what is this, guys? Please hold. Okay. This feels like wood and stone. Um, that must be dyed halide or something. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Another pair. Well, no. So, sorry. Um, another necklace with beads. I thought maybe this was Monet, but it's not. And that's in a navy. I don't know about this one, um, this is hematite and tiger's eye, and I like this. This is like a lucky horn. That's a pretty one. It has the price tag on it or the tag on it. I don't know if that was from Goodwill or if that was from the um, this store that it was initially sold in, but the tags are on. Here's a cute pair of hoops. All right, you guys are going to get to see my husband. Come on in, honey. Oh, okay. Are I told you, you I'm taping, taping you, a video. Are you talking to Dakota? I'm talking, no, I'm taping a video for oh. my jewelry. I'm almost done, though. So, want to say hi to the audience? Hi. That's my it's hunky happening. husband. Hunk. My hunk. Bracelet with gold and wood. What would you like, honey? I'm are going, you hungry? I'm going to go to the grocery store. You go to the grocery store? Yeah. Do you want to come with or no? Um... No, it would be great if you could do it. All right, you want me to Isn't he the best? <laughs> All right. All right. Um, this is broken. Too bad, because this might have been my favorite in the in the lot here. Unmarked. And oh well, because that's completely messed up. Too bad. That would have been awesome. I mean, couldn't they have put a couple of really good things in here? Why? Um, this is pretty. This is a stretch. It says, Alexa's Angels. That looks like, like some real stone. That's pretty. I like that. And this looks like a vintage bangle. I like that too. All right, I mean, I guess there were a few things in here. Um, a lot of junky earrings um, and a lot of plasticky stretch bracelets, but we did get a couple of things. So, I mean, not bad for $20, right? Shells. Um, 
So, yeah. It's totally bent. Oh. You know my husband's like, gosh darn it, I wanted her to go to the food store with me. That's kind of banged up crap lot. Um, yeah, but I, I often go without him, so I'm hoping he just goes and get some stuff. I'm always at the supermarket because, you know, I buy some meat because I think, you know, I know what I'm going to make and then I run out. I run out and then I have to go back to the store for more meat and then I wind up buying more stuff. Um, this looks like it has a maker's mark on it. Let's see what this is. Oh, I'm so excited. This is Bill Blast, and I did not know the maker's mark until this week. And someone who watches wrote me a note and said, that's Bill Blast. Thank you. Now I know. Now I know, guys. I try and really make this a learning experience. And, you know, I'm still learning. So it's important when I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> which is sometimes, frankly, that someone from the audience gives me a little holler and a hand and says, that's what that is. That's Bill Blast, that's his signature. Um, I get so many of those earrings. I lost my magnet in the midst of all of this um, and I just found this, so I don't know if, if that's maybe silver could it be silver i would love it just one little silver piece i doubt it i don't think so plastic bead stretch um hmm. this is liz claiborne this is definitely a vintage piece these are nice heavy beads i need to look at them i can't tell if they're worn out or which i think they are yeah, I thought maybe they were just speckled, but they're worn out, so that goes into a craft lot. Darn it! The few things I really wanted are not good. Um, oh well. Alright, bits and pieces at the end. I don't think there's going to be any major find in here beyond what I've shown you already and beyond more of these earrings. Um, but if I find anything else besides those earrings, which looks like what's at the bottom of that bag, then I will let you know. Um, this looks very holiday-ish. So thank you for joining. I'll keep going as I'm saying goodbye. Um, thank you for joining. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content. Um, I always enjoy being with you guys. I wish this was a better lot of stuff, but there were a couple things that were cute and that will go on my channels to sell. And tune in next time. You never know. This is a treasure hunt. So sometimes you find amazing pieces and sometimes you find big 80s earrings. Thank you. Please subscribe and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.